What's up, YouTube? This is Texas Bowtie 806 with Ms. Stein today. It's a 06 single cab, five speed, 4.8 liter manual floor shifter, four by four. It's a mouthful. Uh, yeah, so I just want to talk to you about the spindle source upper control arms I'm installing tonight. Uh, here is the old one on the right and the new one on the left. You can see, I don't know if you can really tell in the video because I'm looking at it in person and then looking on the video is totally different. But the one on the left has more of a down slope, which helps the angle, which I am trying to raise up my torque keys a little bit more because they're not even tightened at all. Uh... Because Firestone keeps on telling me, oh, we can't torque it because your angle is going to mess up your tires, blah, blah, blah. So, yeah, this is what I ended up doing then. Uh, the reason I switched over is because, as you can see, the right one, the old one, it has a rust spot on the top. Yeah, that's where my inside of my tire rubbed on. Both sides. So, brand new tires. I had maybe 50 miles on. I took them off my Tahoe. Decided, hey, let's put them on my truck. Let's see how they look. Well, got up to the street. I smell something burning. I got out. I was like, I can't find it. So I got under the truck. And that's where I saw the big gash on the inside all the way around. Brand new tires. Some MTs. What are they? Uh, MT's radars, radars, renegade MT's, I think. Yeah, so that's why I have these spacers, they're one and a half inch spacers. I don't know if you can tell that brand, I don't know what that brand is. I bought them used. Um, so as you can tell on this one. It looks more pushed in. It looks more of an angle slope. So which hopefully will let me run my 12 and a half wide tires so I can take off these spacers so I can stop messing that crap up. Okay, uh, I will have to zip tie my brake line and my ABS line because I don't know why there's a bracket on the left hand side. If my, feel, uh, my brake line can't even reach that far. It doesn't have enough room. So I'm just going to zip tie it to the somewhere there. Same thing with my ABS cable. But, I mean, it's pretty simple to install it. It took me a little bit because the CV axle, CV axle popped out and I wasn't aware of that. So, I mean, it took me maybe five minutes to figure out what the problem was. And the spindle source were for a two-wheel drive pickup. But since mine's a four-wheel drive, I don't need these extra parts. Don't know how the, what they go to. Don't know how they go on. Don't know anything about them. But yeah, and here is the other ball joint. It comes with the spacer. They're pretty decent. Let me take off these rubber sleeve so you can see. There it comes somewhat greased up. I'll have to grease them up here in a minute again too when I put them back on. But yeah, uh, stay tuned. I'm going to give you all an update on these. And give you all an update on the whole freaking truck. I've done so much crap since the last videos. I haven't... I mean, there's so much to go through. And stay tuned because I really want to change out my shifter to a dual barrel side-by-side -side shotgun so i already talked to atf they told me what i needed to do to make it legal so hopefully i can make that happen soon but yeah stay tuned i'll keep y'all posted thanks